Hello everyone, today I have a custom Lego minifigure view from Engineerio. If you want to check out my other videos by him, you can click right up here, or links will be down below. Of course, it comes in the packaging is the card, as always, so if you want to do anything, you got uh, his Instagram, which is eBay Engineerio hashtag. We got his Facebook, links will be down below, and website as well. Nothing on the back of the card. Also, a nice thing that came in the package is a nice little 2 by one smooth tile that says, it's upside down, that says, by Engineerio, if it focuses, there we go. By Engineer, nice little thing. Hope to see some maybe brick badges soon, stickers, pins, you know, nice expansion. like the 2 by uh, one tile. I'm going to put it on my uh, brick badge collection for sure. Uh, got some awesome minifigures right here. These are WWE wrestlers, and I'm super stoked because wrestling was a big thing in my life, and again, I got back into it. I know all these wrestlers. I love them. So we'll jump right into it. One of the most iconic ones right here. Can't already tell who it is. I'm a little bit disappointed, but we'll get into it. So first one right here, if you can't tell, this is Stone Cold Steve Austin, and you can see it says Austin on his jacket right there. S O B. You got bulletproof on the back. Great wrestler. I mean, he's iconic. Everybody knows him. He's in movies and everything. But this is Stone Cold Steve Austin. So starting at his face, he's bald, of course. Makes it easy. You don't have to put a hair piece on him. He's got the goatee. Uh, uh, mustache combo going. You can see some cheek designs. Got an angry look. He was an always angry guy. He's got the, um, I think that's the scar in his forehead. He's got some wrinkle in his brow as well. Let's show him a little better. There we go. But that angry look works for him perfectly. Nothing on the back of his head. Again, coming down to his chest and torso, he's got his leather vest on. You can see he's got a chain on. Again, it says Austin on his uh, vest right there. He's got the skull SOB right here. You can see he's pretty buff underneath. He's got a six-pack chest showing. Uh, a little lower, you can see he's got the belt on, buckle right there. No printing on the legs, so pretty simply wears the... Uh, he would wear jeans sometimes. Uh, he usually wore, like, the spandex uh, tights or, like, the, um, the underwear-looking one. Uh, black pants work for him as well. Coming to the side, no printing on the side. Same as this side. So simple. And then on the back, again, he's got his jacket, so you can see a little bit of his shoulders showing or his vest. It says bulletproof. He's got the skull again, his signature 316 Austin. You can see some wrinkles in it. And then nothing on the back of the legs. So again, iconic wrestler. You can tell who it is immediately. Did a great job with him. I love getting the wrestler minifigs. Hope to see some more. Get him on a stand and do some more. And there we go. Next one is a newer wrestler. Uh, been in the WWE a couple years. This one is AJ Styles. He was the champ for a long time. Uh, lost it recently, I believe, or a few months ago. But here you go. You can see he's got that long hair, so a good piece that he used. I can get it off. There we go. Long hair, simple. He's got the uh, the beard going. Wrinkles around his eyes. Kind of has the same mad look a little bit as uh, Stone Cold. Uh, different eyebrows, though. The face would probably be the hardest part for him. I don't think nothing on the back of the head. He's got a little wrinkle in his brow as well. Coming down to his chest and torso, you can see his chest. Again, he's got a six-pack. Uh, he's got some ribs showing right there. He has a signature tattoo. It says AJ right here. And then even under it. He's got the little one right there. Pretty simple on the chest, though. I do like that he did the tattoo. Coming to his waist, he is printed on the belt. For Now, he wears the blue spandex, the tights. So, uh, the blue ones work perfectly. He's got some, like, white fangs right here on the upper thighs. And then, it should say... Phenomenal, I believe? Yeah, it says Phenomenal. I think it says Phenomenal. It's hard to tell. At least it's hard to tell for me. But he's the phenomenal one. Phenomenal AJ Styles. So the one right there on his left leg. Nothing printed on the front of the shoes. But again, simple. And it works. You can tell who it is. No printing on this side of his body. Nothing on the legs or the arms. Coming to this side, he does have the uh, elbow pad for the phenomenal elbow. And then, I wish he had the printing on the side for his other tattoo. I know it's, it would be a little small like this. But he does have... Uh, the three dates of his children, I believe, on his side. So it would be a nice little touch if those were on there. Nothing on the side of the legs. And then on the back, pretty simple back design for any kind of buff dudes. you got the shoulders down the spine and then the hips right here. 
nothing on the back of the legs. So that is AJ Styles, the phenomenal AJ Styles. He built SmackDown, of course, you know, you know all those things. Next one is one who retired, came back, retired, came back, but I still love him, love his entrance. Uh, he's, he's beaten Brock Lesnar a few times, which I like to see. And this is Goldberg. Love Goldberg. I loved him back in, um, uh, I think it was WCW, uh, when he had his uh, 167 wins or whatever it was, longest reign at the time. At the time, uh, of course, that's been beaten. But Goldberg was a beast back then. He still is. He's had some good matches. He's versing the Undertaker, I believe, soon. But this is Goldberg, the newer version, of course. You can see he's got the white uh, mustache goatee combo. He's got his angry look because he's ready to, you know, you're next. Uh, again, he's got that angry look, kind of the same. Same eyes, I think, he uh, Engineer uses for most. White dot in the center and then black around it. He kind of has the, the crow's feet on the eyes, same as AJ. But he's got a little more angry look. Teeth are showing. He's ready to do a spear and a jackhammer. Even the wrinkles in the forehead are on the, the ball. That's awesome. Coming down to his chest and torso, a little bit different uh, muscle design. He's got the chest. Six pack wrinkle, um, where his like ribs would be showing his indents on the sides. He's still buff as a Lego. I, I don't know about now, but he's buff as a Lego, that's for sure. Coming to his waist and legs, you can see he's got that white band going across his waist, and then he, he does wear the shorts or like the the underwear style, so you can see the white bands and then skin showing. Awesome that he did skin on black. I know it's probably hard for that to show up, but it shows up really well. Uh, knee pads and then the front of the boots. So that flows all the way down really nice. Coming to his left side, you can see he's got the elbow pad and his tattoo on his shoulder right there. So awesome that that's on there. No printing on the sides. Uh, happy he used a white band for the waist and then there's no printing on the legs. I wish he kind of brought that over to the side for the shorts. Coming to this side, no printing, no sh uh, tattoo at least. He does have the uh, elbow pad printing on his elbow again. And then there's no printing on the side. And then coming to the back of the minifig, he's got that muscle detail. Again, he's a little bit older guy, so the shoulders right there, you can see down his spine. A little more uh, definition because he is he's pretty buff still. And then that white band for his waist and then no printing on the back of the legs. But uh, Goldberg for sure, top 10 favorite wrestler easily, stone cold easily. I like AJ, but I wouldn't say top 10. He's newer for me. I like the older guys better. But love Goldberg. Oh God, spear, spear. No, sorry. <laughs> Put him on a stand. On to the next one. This is probably my number one favorite wrestler right now. Not of all time, but right now at least. And this is Braun Strowman, the monster among men. Get these hands, everything. Love Braun Strowman. Love him being the beast, just destroying everything. Still wish he needs, he needs the universal title, I think. He needs to beat Brock Lesnar, 100%. Uh, you can see that there are studs on his feet. I added those because Brock Lesnar is a very tall guy, seven feet, seven something. Uh, he needed a little boost standing over like any other minifig. And I don't know, I did find the same color that matches the pants. I don't know if I want to do two studs high or one single stud. Um, let me put him on a stand really quick so you can see. Right now that's all that the Heidi is. For like a okay regular size minifigure Goldberg would be regular size these guys would be regular. I I feel like he's taller than Goldberg for sure AJ Styles but I I don't know if I want to do two studs higher or one stud. Let me know in the comments if you like him being one stud higher or two studs higher. Uh, I'll show two studs in a minute but this is one stud right now. And then I'll show two stud in a in a minute. Let's go through. Actually I can do it right now. Because, again, I did find the same color. Again, wanted to, like, extend the pants and then give him the boot. So this would be two studs higher. And you can see he's pretty much almost a minifigure head higher. Or he is. He is a minifigure head higher at two studs. So let me know if you like one stud or two studs. I kind of like one stud seeing it now next to each other. Uh, I probably can't get that off, so I'm going to take those off for now. I, again, I don't know if one started two studs, but he's a tall guy. I want him to be a tall minifig. But now coming to the minifig himself, Braun Strowman. He's got that uh, mohawk, long hair, faux hawk kind of thing. So 
they use the uh, taser face piece and it is painted so you can see it's the black one it is painted brown so it's fitting for Braun Strowman because he's got the cuts on the side you know so perfect piece it's also got the big thick beard so I like the beard piece he used coming to his face you can see he's got big eyes super mad looks screaming yelling he's got beard also printed on his face so an angry look is very fitting for Braun Strowman but I like the face the eyes, the white showing a lot, I don't know. I don't know about that. I thought the black with the white dot is a little better, but this way is good too. He's got that angry look. Coming down to his chest and torso, you can see he's got his uh, big tank top on. <laughs> he's, a big, he's a big dude. His chest is also showing through it, some wrinkles in it at the chest as well. Uh, coming to his waist and legs, you can see he's got the belt on with his green loops and belt buckle. Nice detail. Camo pants, which is super nice as well. It does go into the belt on there, too. It's got some straps right here on the upper thighs and two on this side. This actually might be off a line. I don't know. It should be where the boot is. And then the front of the boot's tied off. Again, I would add the studs. Make him a little taller. Coming to this side, no printing on this side of his body. Coming to this side, there is his Superman tattoo on his right arm. And then no printing on the side of the body. And then there's no printing on the back of the body. So pretty simple. It's all on the front and the sides. Um, I think I'm going to do one stud for now. Let me get this piece off really quick. Reach into my Lego stuff. i got to get that stud off. I can't pull it off. I think we'll do one stud for now. It gives him a little bit of height. At least like half a head because he does have the beard piece which extends him a little bit. But that is Braun Strowman, the monster among men. Get these hands. Probably my favorite wrestler right now. And there you go, there he is. So again, that's the one stud. I, I think I think the one stud looks good. It's not not like extenuating him too tall. So one stud is good. And now a secretly not unlocked minifig who is now unlocked. This one is Hurricane, because stay in the back. There's a Hurricane. Sorry, I, Hurricane is a funny gimmick guy. Uh, he was in the Royal Rumble, like, uh, two Royal Rumbles ago, I believe. Got thrown out really quick from John Cena, but Hurricane is a big, iconic guy for me. Loved him back then. Again, he's a funny, gimmicky guy. Uh, one thing with the hair, they used black. Uh, it would be cool to add in the green, you know, because he, he has green hair, really. Just like how they did the Braun Strowman hair that they painted this piece. They could paint like a little bit of green into it. I couldn't find green hair. So that's the only thing I could think of is painting green into the hair. But he does have the mask. <clears throat> you can see right there. A little bit of green on the mask would be nice too. It's probably hard to get printed on there. But it's the exact same mask. It's long on the sides. got the spike around the brow and around the mouth area. He should be smiling too. He's usually a happy guy. Coming to his chest and torso, you can see the Hurricane logo right there on his chest. He's wearing his green outfit. You can see it goes over his shoulders, kind of like a tank top. A lot of black at the midsection. You can see his chest showing through, some wrinkles in it. No printing on the waist, but there is printing on the legs. You can see the knee pads right here, and then coming down to his boots, a little bit of white on the front. Coming to the side, he's got his uh, elbow and like forearm padding right here. And then there's no printing on the side of the body. And on this side, same thing on the arms. Nothing on the side of the body. And then on the back of the minifig, again, he's got his green tank top. He's got his shoulders right there, down his spine. A little bit of shoulder skin showing. And then black along his mid, uh, lower back. And then there's no printing on the back of the mini, uh, back of the legs. But Hurricane, he's a great wrestler too. Uh, he'd be top ten for me because he was my favorite a long time ago. <laughs> but that's Hurricane. So awesome minifig to have as well. So five WWE wrestlers, awesome to have. Love having wrestlers. Um, hoping that he makes more in the future. Uh, you know, like top tier ones. You'd have, you could do Brock Lesnar, so you have both of them. Roman Reigns, you could do the Shield. Um, I do like Braun Strowman out of all these the most, and I do like that I did the one stud over two studs. You can always do two studs. I do the uh, olive green and then do the black for the shoes. Um, but that's them. Of course, links will be down below for these mini figs, so be sure to check them out. Be sure to check my other uh, engineer videos right up here, or links will be down below. Make sure to leave a like if you ever liked the video, and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. 
And as always, thanks for watching.